Sometimes the universe wants to stop you. The universe wants to pause and say, wait, this is not the right time. This is not the right person. Pay attention. These are warning signs. And if you ignore them, you know you are going to pay the price. Hey, my beautiful angels, it's Jesse Krause and welcome to Soul Awakening channel. On this channel, we talk about spiritual wisdom. So please subscribe and become a part of this beautiful community. Remember this. Every time you receive a warning sign, it's a sign of protection. The universe, God, angels, this life is protecting you. You are special. You are one of a kind. And when you understand it, that everything happens for your own good and universe is trying to protect you, then you release the struggle and you begin to pay attention to every sign. Am I in tune with this energy? Am I in the flow or something is not right? And universe is trying to give me these messages. Am I listening? Do you have your eyes, your inner eyes, your ears open to pay attention? So the first sign is intuition. Intuition, the universe is speaking with you, through you. Your intuition is the voice of your soul, the voice of your spirit telling you, no, this is not right. I can't put my finger on it. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but just I feel it. It's the feeling something is not right. So if you pick up on that feeling, that's your first clue. It may not be the only clue, but it's something that you definitely need to pay attention. And this guidance is instant instant. You don't have to wait days. You either know it and it's there and you feel it or it's not there and, and it's fine. But when you begin to pick up on these subtle emotions, something is just, I don't feel is right. Really pay attention. First step in the right direction is to understand, okay, these are legit feelings. My heart, my soul may not be in agreement with this situation, with this person. And I have to respect that. I have to pay attention. The universe is trying to protect me right at this moment. I feel this protection. Acknowledge that. So let me give you an example, something that just happened a few days ago. In the area where I live, there is a lady who does Reiki, okay? Energy healing. And I decided, okay, let me, let me try Reiki. Let me sign up for these sessions. So I called her, I introduced myself, we talked and we talked about the universe and how energy of healing is so powerful. We talked about the world and it was just a beautiful conversation. And I was really looking forward to doing Reiki sessions with her. And she's like a master practitioner. So on the day of our first session, I receive a text from her and it's like a long text and she's asking me to wear a mask, which I have no problem with. Fine. If that's something that is important, I respect that. But the way that she started to phrase how she's not comfortable with the situation in the world and, and how things get out of control and disease is, is spreading. I'm like, where is this coming from? Like how a beautiful Reiki session turned out to be. So I felt the first message, intuitive message that I had was, no, this is not right. And universe is trying to protect me. Universe is just trying to give me a message right away. This is not the right time or the right person. So immediately I, I called her and I, I canceled the session. It was my, clear knowing something is not right. I know it and I'm okay with it. I'm not trying to change anything. I'm accepting it and see if this is the right decision in the moment to say no or pause or change or do something that helps you to look at it differently from with different eyes, from a different perspective. The second sign is resistance. 
every time you experience resistance, it's a warning sign. It's a sign for you to pause and pay attention. And what I mean by resistance, let's say you are on your way to the airport, but you forgot your passport at home or yeah, like you're in a rush. You have to, you have to be somewhere, but you lose your keys and you can't find your keys. It's like, what is going on? It's like the world is trying to stop me and maybe the universe is trying to stop you. Who knows? You know, that delay may save your life. And you feel like, oh, well, so much resistance. I can feel it. <laughs> it's like some force, universal force prevents me from getting somewhere or from doing or from saying something. So pay attention to these signs. Let's say you have an important meeting, but you forgot to turn on your alarm clock and you overslept. So in the same way you are getting somewhere, but then the person calls you and they cancel last minute. <laughs> You may feel like, why? Why these things are happening to me? And it's because, look, the world is a big place. There's so many things that you just don't know. You don't see the big picture. You don't know what's behind the curtain. It's all about maybe trusting in the moment, saying, okay, I take it as a protection. The universe is protecting me right now. And I'm happy. I'm happy with it. And you'll figure it out later later you will know and you will be so grateful you'll be so pleased with the way things worked out even though in the moment it feels like so much pressure so much resistance respect that okay sign number three people saying no if you have an idea and you really want something or you have your mind set on something or someone and all of a sudden people begin to tell you, no, don't do it. I remember when we were selling our, our house, all of a sudden, everybody around us were, were telling us this is not the right time to sell. I'm like, what do you know? We want to sell. But the truth is at that time, it was like during COVID, houses were difficult to sell and there was just like one message after another. This is not the right time. This is not the right time. Pay attention. I would call my mentor and she's like, no, Josie, I mean, my message is this is not the right time. So I've learned to kind of, okay, if I'm hearing this over and over again, the universe is trying to tell me something. And so we had our house for sale and it didn't sell months, months and months at a time just didn't sell. So we were okay with that. But also I had this message earlier. I also knew that maybe there is another plan. There is another way. There is another time. And sure enough, later we were able to sell the house for a lot higher price and that was a huge blessing but also when we wanted to sell it the time wasn't right and it's like people were reminding us this is not the right time it's just like hearing this over and over again randomly by the way it's not that i was asking people's opinions and it's okay just be open-minded and no, it's not like I have to try harder. I have to prove something to the world. Sometimes you just say, oh, okay, I, I get this message. The time is not right. I'm okay with that. And one more thing, signs, okay? Signs, paying attention to, to signs. You know, when you are in the flow, you are in the flow. Your thoughts are flowing and you feel peaceful. There is this peaceful energy. And also when you're driving, it's like you have green lights and the universe opens doors for you. People call you and out of the blue. But there's also another reality. You may not be yourself and you may be driving and then you see like stop signs, red lights. If you, let's say you're driving, okay? And you see red lights every single time. It's like red light red light red light instead of being frustrated instead of just saying you know what's going on i'm in a rush I have to be somewhere it's like i think the universe is telling me stop okay stop pause 
stop signs, dead ends, you know, these are all messages that are telling you something. And if you are really mindful, you can just simply pause and say, what is this about? And the message can say, it's about your relationship. Maybe you're ending a relationship. Maybe it's time for you to end your dead end job. Maybe it's time for you to change the way you think. But something needs to be changed. There's an ending that comes. And you are aware of where to let go, okay? To release, to pause, to slow down. Instead of pushing, instead of trying to break through these invisible walls, you want to pause and pay attention and allow and see how you can use this guidance and get back into in the flow and become much more aligned with your purpose, with the universal intelligence that is always guiding you. Maybe you're just out of alignment. Get off the rails, get back on track and keep on going.